saying goodbye until we meet again. Saying goodbye just doesn't get any easier. All the time spent, the vibrant sights, the smell, the building sounds, all of which so striking, it remains in my memory. Because it simply is the moment that halts you in your tracks and leaves you in awe. Oops, I almost forgot to introduce myself. I'm Lorraine, a journalist from Thailand. And the guy next to me? He is Bryant, a freelance photographer from China. And we're here on a trip to explore more about Singapore. So here we are at Chinatown, the busy, bustling streets dotted with tourists just like us, getting the best bargains, deals, and even some souvenirs to take away home. So he's taking a picture of the Sri Mariamman Temple, the oldest Hindu temple in Singapore. And guess where we're going next? So we've reached the Buddha Tooth Relic Temple, located in the heart of Chinatown, a representation of the Chinese Buddhist population in Singapore. Certainly, it is a common place for worship and admiration of its majestic architecture. Definitely a spot to sneak some pockets of Zen and inner peace. Hmm, I'm starting to feel a little hungry now. And visiting the Hawker Centre is a must-go off my checklist. Well, I must say the locals here are really friendly. They were kind enough to introduce the food of Singapore to us and they seem really delicious as well. And the journey doesn't end here. Exploring through every cook and nanny of Chinatown, we unlocked more secrets to the tea culture and experience in Singapore. And if you look closely, you can see the image of the second Queen Elizabeth sipping and enjoying her cup of Chinese tea. Well, I must admit the storekeeper is really knowledgeable and very passionate about sharing her experience on the tea cup. So other than learning about the various elements in Chinatown, I learned a lot more about my counterpart Brian as well. And his favourite tea is actually the Tie Kuan Yin. The clock's ticking and it's two more hours to my flight. I guess what was best about Chinatown was definitely the food experience. But of course, Kampung Guam was definitely another hidden gem worth noting. Finally, it's the second day. I can explore more with Lorraine. Honestly, I can't believe the amount of chemistry we had, coincidentally wearing similar outfits. I thought their childhood toys were interesting. The chap days, five stones, and many more. Some of the oriental crafts reminded me of my personal heritage. Hey, maybe I can sing for Larry too. Visiting the Southern Mosque was indeed an eye-opening experience. And we had to wear this, um, what's it called? Sarong. Even their fans were different from those at Chinatown. But anyway, I decided to get one for the rain. And we made a stop over to the Malay Heritage Center to explore the exhibits. Taste the 
different from Tie Guan Yin, a little bit milky yet aromatic. The clock's ticking, and it's an hour more to my flight. Having seen so much of Kampung Glam, Little India definitely does not pale in comparison. You must be wondering, is Little India really that little? Probably not. So, we decided to have a go at the henna art, which essentially is made from plant colourings. And we were welcomed by the delicate elements of the Indian culture. Once again, the locals here were really hospitable and friendly. But then again, don't you think she looks so well familiar? The cultural crafts were intricate and personally designed by the shop owner, making it distinctive and unique. of teas here and they package really nicely. Maybe I should get one for my family as well. I guess sometimes all good things come to an end. We grew closer as time went by. But are we just friends or a little bit more? Even in the city, just by exploring a little further, we found the original Sir Stamford Raffles statue. I wish we could spend more time together. We've yet to unravel the secrets of Singapore. I hope she's not gone yet. Lorraine! We didn't have to go. There's more things for us here. Apparently, he was on his phone to get us extended tickets. And I guess for some magical reason, even the henna drew us closer. I really can't wait. We'll explore more. I'm really glad he got the extended tickets. Because of that, we managed to unravel the true essence of Singapore. Oh, during the last time, I forgot to ask you what's the real food that represents Singapore. That's when we realised the secrets of Singapore lies within the fusion of its cultures. Although individualised and separate on its own, these ingredients make up an entirely new experience. Just like Rojak. Mm -hmm.